Hello, Scorpio, and welcome to my channel, Tarot by Gabrielle. This is going to be a general reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for May 2023, looking at your recent past, current energy, and your, your immediate future, answering the question, what do you need to know right now in order to move forward in alignment with your higher self? As always, I've gone ahead and pulled the oracle cards um, for, the, for the overall energy for the reading, as well as the overall theme of the reading, and then I've actually clarified those with a clarifying deck this week that I have shuffled here right now, just in case I need it. Um, any information on the extended reading or on booking a personal reading with me is in the description box below. All right, Scorpio. Let's see what we're dealing with here. In your recent past, you have balanced spirituality and practicality with the temperance card. Um, this temperance card is another card of balance. And it's interesting. I mean, this is like, I don't know. A lot of water energy because <laughs> this is a full moon in Pisces and then you have this temperance card and I know this is a Sagittarius energy but I guess I'm just looking at the cups right now the water in the cups and what I'm seeing is like things in your life I think I feel like have been um kind of out of balance in a way now specifically with learning to balance the physical and the metaphysical and when I talk about that it's you know the 5d versus the 3d the quote is that's as above so below as within so without you know we create our out outer world from our inner world what we believe about our reality the actions that we take the choices that we make that is what creates our external world and a lot of times you know people will only live in the material world they'll believe that the material is all all that there is and you know, instead of creating their life they'll ex just kind of accept the life that they have and this balance spirituality and practicality card seems to me like it's learning to find the balance between both yes the material world is obviously very real but it comes from your your spiritual inner world as well and those connect that connection between the two makes you realize that there isn't really a separation between the two now in your current energy you have nothing is yet set in stone with the world card here there is some sort of a goal you're wanting to achieve it's it's either a goal or an opportunity or something there's something that you want and nothing is set in stone with this yet i mean nothing is ever set in stone right nothing is ever certain except for uncertainty and what i'm seeing is there is some sort of a cycle that needs to be complete first in order for this to come into reality and so what i'm seeing in, and again talking about before you can bring it into reality with your inner world with your inner environment now in your immediate future you have you're very close to achieving your goal with the ace of pentacles in reverse and so what i'm seeing here is it's like i know that you want this but th this ace of pentacles being in reverse means that it hasn't been able to manifest into reality and so with this very you're very close to achieving your goal card i actually see this as we, when we get to your immediate future, we're going to be pulling advice on how to achieve this goal. Because the overall energy for this reading is nourishment and the fool. So here's this new beginning. I feel like this new, be new beginning is very similar to this Ace of Pentacles in reverse energy. It's kind of speaking of the same thing. And then you have this nourishment card. Remember, your garden grows where you water it. Your life grows where you nourish it. What you give energy to is what you attract more of. And I feel like this is about getting into an energy of attracting, of, of putting your energy into what you need to, to attract what you want to. And so I do feel like there's going to be a lot of advice in this reading. So let's start, Scorpio, by looking at your recent past, clarifying balance, spirituality, and practicality with the temperance card. This is for Scorpio's recent past, please. This reading is for Scorpio's recent past. It's like you're waiting on something. You're waiting on something that you want here. Recent past for Scorpio. King of Swords with the Knight of Swords and the Two of Wands in reverse. You've been very in your head about this. A lot of overthinking. And I almost feel like you've been overthinking so much that you've kind of been distracting yourself. Like just trying to keep busy, trying not to focus on the present moment. Um, because this temperance card can be a reminder to need to be present as well. Because I feel like, and then there's this, this king of pentacles here, which makes me feel like you're focusing too much on the material. Balance the spiritual and the material, right? You're focusing too much on the material. And not so much on the spiritual. Because, I mean, this Knight of Swords is another card of being, um, being very in your head. 
So I feel like you've kind of just been trying a little bit to distract yourself. I mean, this is your recent past, but to distract yourself from something here. It's like you're, you want something to happen and you're just kind of like trying to keep busy until it happens is what it feels like. Okay, recent past for Scorpio instead of making it happen. I don't want that message again. I want to get more for Scorpio's recent past. Sorry, it was a King of Swords in reverse. And that Two of Wands. A new message for Scorpio's recent past. If it comes out again, then it'll probably mean that I'm missing something. Scorpio's recent past, please. There's a Nine of Pentacles. Because, yeah, there is something that you want. But then you have these two of swords. And then look at that. There's the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. And there you are, Queen of Cups, whether you're male or female. And so what I'm seeing is there's something that you want. There's a wish fulfillment here. But there's more, like, it's like there's more needed from you with this two of swords. Like, I don't know if it's a decision or if you feel like you're at a crossroads about something. But this is what, this is Ace of Pentacles in reverse is what you want. I want to get more on this two of swords. Because I feel like there's a decision you have to make. Clarifying this two of swords or needed to make. Clarifying this two of swords. It feels like you're at a crossroads though. The hangman in reverse with the ten of pentacles in reverse. Interesting. The decision feels like it's like to choose. It's like to choose to go after what you want. Or not. Like the choice, the choice feels very clear cut. It doesn't feel like this is like a, but the, the, this, the, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> um, the details of the decision is where things get tricky. But it feels like the decision is pretty straightforward. Recent pass for Scorpio. So you're like waiting things to change for things to change, but like, yet there's something that you need to do to make them change. But that decision is up to you. But the decision is it. It's like it's clear cut, but it's not easy. Recent pass for Scorpio. Because you're worried about others. There's other, the decision would affect other people. But it's, it's like, kind of feels like choosing other people or choosing yourself. The decision would affect other people. Or other circumstances in your life. Like, it, it feels like it's a kind of a domino effect. Or like a, like there's a lot, this decision affects a lot of things. And I feel like that's what's, what's mainly keeping you from making it. From choosing what you want, what this Nine of Pentacles is here. Current energy for Scorpio clarifying nothing is yet set in stone, clarifying the world card. So I feel like the cycle of what you're needing to break here is maybe the cycle of playing it safe. Because remember, your garden grows where you water it, but the nourishment card and the fool card. Current energy here for Scorpio. Hang on, I don't want that yet. It didn't feel right. Current energy for Scorpio. There we go. Current energy for Scorpio, please. Clarifying nothing is yet set in stone in the world. There's the two of wands. Whatever you're wanting, this ace of pentacles, this fool, that nine of pentacles, which I feel like are all kind of alluding to the same thing. It's like the opportunity for the nine of pentacles, the opportunity for the wish fulfillment, the new beginning kind of just being like the the life that would be led should this opportunity take place. It's in alignment with you. It's in alignment with you. But then you have this Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Which makes me feel like you don't think you're capable. You don't think you're capable. Which is why... I don't need to pull anything else for that. You don't think you're capable, which is why you're not choosing it. It's like a, it's like a path. A path that you're not choosing. Current energy for Scorpio clarifying nothing is yet set in stone with the world. 
Current energy for Scorpio. Nothing is yet set in stone with the world, please. Current energy for Scorpio. I saw a quote the other day on Instagram that I really like. And I am an Instagram quote junkie. So if you're not following my spiritual account, but you like spiritual quotes and motivational quotes and healing quotes, then I recommend following me because I am posting those all the time. You have justice with the fool. Um, but I saw this quote, sorry, got sidetracked. That said, if the universe put a dream in your heart, it has every intention of making it happen. And that's absolutely true. The things that we dream and the, the passions that we have they are the roadmap to our destiny and they are the roadmap to, to getting us to where we want to go. And I feel like that is very much ap applicable to what's going on here. Because you have this justice and this fool. It's like you're needing to understand that the reason this new beginning isn't taking place is because you haven't allowed it to Scorpio you haven't chosen the new beginning you're waiting for things to change and you need to make them change and I feel like you your first reaction to that is it's like well it's not that easy okay sure but it's never gonna be Pursuing your path and pursuing your dreams is never easy. If it were easy, everyone would be living the life of their dreams, right? You can come up with a million excuses in every single moment of every single day as to why you shouldn't pursue the life of your dreams, why you shouldn't pursue a passion project, why you shouldn't pursue a relationship that you, you, know, you really want. You're going to come up with a million reasons all the time as to why you shouldn't. But none of those matter. The only reasons that matter are the reasons that you should in this particular case. I feel like that could get twisted around. Like, especially if the reasons not to heavily out the way the reasons to, then like we're talking about something different here. But this is talking about something that like you feel very drawn to that the universe definitely put on your heart and that ultimately you're deserving of. Current energy for Scorpio, but nothing is yet set in stone because you need to complete the cycle of, of playing it safe. Current energy for Scorpio. The readings this week, literally, that's crazy. This is the card of playing it safe. And then you have the strength card in reverse. What I was going to say is the readings this week have really been about like the theme. Like it, every week my readings tend to have a theme. Like each sign has a different story behind that theme, but they kind of have a theme. And this week the reading has really been like, how are you holding yourself back? In fact, I'm pretty sure that was the, no, the Taurus reading was what is holding you back. But like the theme has been like, how are you holding yourself back from the life that you want? And in your case, Scorpio, you have the three of wands in reverse with the strength in reverse. You're playing it safe because you don't believe in yourself. And that sounds so cheesy. Just believe in yourself and you can do anything. But it's true. Like when you believe that you can, you are already, that is already 90% of the battle. When you believe that you can, that you're capable, that you are deserving, you are pretty much already there. The re and that's the balance, the spirituality and the practicality, right? What you believe in your heart is what, will you, is what you will experience in your external environment. So right now, you need to realize that you've been playing it safe in life. You've been choosing situations, people, careers that make you feel safe and secure, but they don't make you happy. They don't make you feel abundant. They don't make you feel passionate. They don't make you feel excited. They make you feel safe and secure. But it's a false sense of security because the security that you're looking for exists in your faith in the universe. Keep that in mind. All right. Immediate future for Scorpio clarifying you're very close to achieving your goal with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. I don't know why, but out of nowhere, my voice <clears throat> is freaking out on me. 
Immediate future for Scorpio, clarifying you're very close to achieving your goal with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Immediate future for Scorpio, please. Six of Cups in reverse. Now remember, this is, a, uh, this is advice here. Think back to your past. Think about what you've invested in in your past and think, think about whether the things you've invested in have been really what align with your soul, with your heart, with your passion. Or think about whether they've, res they've aligned more with what you think you need, what other people want for you, what society tells you you need to do. Because I feel like when you look back at past decisions you've made and how they've kind of turned out or how you feel about them now, you'll be able to see a pattern. And that pattern, it really exists in realizing that our decisions are in any single moment, we have a decision to either choose fear or faith. And our fear-based decisions are going to be the one that trick us into believing they are the safest ones. They are the ones that are going to provide usually the most immediate benefit, the ones that are going to make us feel the safest the soonest, or the ones that exist within our comfort zone. And choosing faith is choosing to be uncomfortable with the unknown, choosing to believe that there is a better, more abundant life for you out there. And you're kind of at that crossroads right now. Scorpio, are you going to choose faith? Or are you going to choose fear? Are you going to choose what you've always chosen, faith or safety, right? And it's not to say that choosing faith isn't safe. It's just a, it's a different way of safety, of experiencing safety because it's experiencing the safety of the universe, the belief that the universe has your back and is going to show up for you and is going to provide you with everything that you want and need on the path to you know where you're trying to go. The false sense of security is when you say, I have to stay at this nine to five job because if I didn't, I wouldn't have the money I need to pay for my bills. That within itself is a limiting belief that sure, if that is what you believe about your reality, 100%, that is what you're going to experience. That doesn't mean that that's true. It means that that's what you believe. So try to separate the difference there. Immediate future for Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know about their immediate future? The Nine of Swords. Ooh, okay. When you think of an idea or a dream you have or a step you should take and it scares you, that means that you're headed in the right direction. Because not that, and that's the difference between choosing faith and fear, right? If, if a decision scares you and you decide not to choose it, that means you are letting fear win. You are choosing fear. Choosing faith is saying, yes, this is a risk. This decision is scary. This path is uncertain. But there's a reason I feel pulled in this direction. There's a reason that the universe has put this in my heart. Therefore, I deserve to take steps in this direction. You deserve. Scorpio, it's not, you know, I can or I am allowed permission or the universe is letting me. It's you are deserving of all of the things that you are wanting to experience in this reality. But you have to be the one to choose them because your garden grows where you water it. And if you water your comfort zone, your comfort zone is where you're going to stay. If you water your, your faith-based decisions, if you water your faith-based path, then that's what's going, that's, you know, that's what's going to grow. That's what's going to be the most abundant. So there might be some fear and anxiety associated with what it is that you want. Good. That means that you're you're on the right track. Immediate future for Scorpio. Immediate future for Scorpio, please. Ace of Cups in reverse, Queen of Pentacles, and the Eight of Wands. You have to remember that the process of creating the life of your dreams, the process of manifestation is a co-creation experience, meaning that you do your part, the universe does its part. And your part is to choose faith. Choose faith in the universe and whatever decision you're making, and then believe that the universe has your back and the universe will show up for you. 
Now, again, you might have to face some fear and some anxiety along the way, but understand that there is a lot out of your control. There will always be a lot out of your control. Even when you play it safe in life, there is still so many things out of your control. You're just choosing a false sense of control. And so taking steps out of your comfort zone and choosing the things that scare you, but that ultimately are what you want to do or what you want to pursue or what you where you want to end up, those things are like, like I, don't, I feel like I've said it already, but like I'm trying to think of a different way to word it, but it's like they're on your heart for a reason. They're in your mind for a reason. They're in your soul for a reason. And I feel like that's kind of what's needing to be understood here. Like, you will never have 100% control over your reality, ever. But you can either choose a false sense of control or you can choose to lean into faith. And th those, you know, those decisions is what is going to make up your reality. All right, Scorpio, I'm going to hop on over to the extended. I'm going to clarify these messages, dive into the deeper meaning behind them, and then pull an advice card at the end. Thank you so much, as always, for your support of my channel. I do hope that this reading helped and resonated with you in a way that you were needing today. And as always, I wish you nothing but love and healing on your journey moving forward. Right, bye, Scorpio.